So about a month ago when Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge came out, I went and picked one up for myself and the reason I got this phone was because it's powerful and it's good enough to run most of the apps, games at the highest settings. And so I wanted to try out the remote play on it. So as many of you know, remote play is only exclusive to Sony Xperia phones since Sony A is PlayStation and stuff, you should know that. But so a couple of people uh, patched it and exported it to Android, so to, to all the Android phones. So I tried to download it and install it on my phone, but then it would just kept giving me this error saying that I need to update it and and I didn't know what to do since there was no way I could update it since it was a legal version or something like that and we can't get it so what we, what I did is basically I just waited you know it's been a month now so as you can see by the date it was updated on March 31st I don't know when was it but no, it, it wasn't before that, but I don't know, but I remember downloading it from the same phone. I don't know if the date is wrong or not, but I remember downloading it from the same phone. They probably, yeah, it says new, so they probably removed it and changed it, but basically they have changed the, they made an update for it, so as you can see new port. So this version works, I'll put down the link in the description. This works because I have it right now and I just played 2K15 and GTA 5 on it, which is hella awesome. but. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here as you can see the requirements Android 4.0 and plus if you want to check by that go to your phone settings once you're in your settings go to about phone and then click on Android version as you can see it should say mine is 5.02 which is lollipop so and then copy the uh, APK file you could download it both ways you could download it straight from your phone which would you just have to click on the link on your phone and make sure it's enabled to download third party downloads or you could just download it from your computer and, and put it in your phone which I just downloaded from my phone and so so there are some versions over here which media fire which I use media fire is the easiest one and clicked on the on the link and then click on download it's only about six megabytes guys so don't even worry about it so now we're gonna move over to my galaxy and we're gonna talk from there peace out guys alright guys now that you have extracted it the file from your computer or download it from your phone what you want to do is click on install you just click on the app and then you install it the installation is really simple it's not gonna take you 10 hours and then you're done you just click on open and let's go to the file as you can see from here on on the last update that I had it would just give me an error once I click on next it wouldn't connect so what you want to do is to go your PS4 I'm not gonna show you this step but what are you what are you gonna do I'm doing it as I've I'm speaking so what do you want to do is go to your PS4 and turn it on before you click on uh, anything so once you once you're on there I would recommend you go to the settings and open the remote play connection settings just keep that on I don't know why but mine when I had it off it would just take longer when I put it on I don't know it just it just made it faster but if you want to register, I don't know how the registration works right now. I think you have a you have to have a rooted device, but I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'll try that later on. But what you want to do is click on next, and you can see it's connecting to your PS4 right now. You should say. We are in. So you could play two different ways, like this, which is small screen. You get a small screen, but your options controllers are way better. Or you could just use it like this, which I don't the screen is really small. So we're gonna go and uh, let's see, let's play some 2K. Whatever. As you can see, you know, uh, uh, about a month ago when I got the phone, you couldn't really do this because of the update issues, but now it just works perfectly. So we're gonna see how it works. Make sure you don't use your data, I don't think it would work with data, but I haven't tried it, it might work. I'm, I'm gonna try it on my 4G LTE 
but uh, for now I'm connected to my house wireless I'm gonna go later on for a couple of my friends house and let's see if, if it's gonna work in their house but as you can see let me lower down the volume. as you can see it works perfectly let's 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 start a game so we can just run it and see how it goes The Lakers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. So for the Lakers right now, they've got Drummond. Trogic is out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Chandler Parsons. And it's Monty Unis in at the four slot. And he responds with his own three-pointer. Yeah, he came right back with his three. And uh, we're seeing a bit of uh, gamesmanship right here, Steve. Now here's Dragic. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Chicago. He was exquisite in that game, Kevin. It wasn't just the scoring, it was the passing, too. And his teammates, you could tell, were just really enjoying playing with him. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. And those shots have just come on an easy open look. So, timeout called here, the first for Toronto. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. Well, it's their only look at this team all season. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. 106 left in the first quarter. A shot by Lawson, wide open. He's got the assist from Johnson. Assist goes to Amir. Lakers lead by four. Rockets left side. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. And take a look at this. Leverage and to have guys like these. Big men who can pass like guards. And just click on home menu and then you just go back and you can just go up to level one. So you guys, if this video helps you out, please give it a like so it would help out other people. I really made this video because I had a struggle with the game uh, of how to get it on my phone and uh, I, I just wanted to help out other people. So if you guys, if you guys need help, I mean if you guys like the video, just comment down below and I'm going to help you guys. Peace out.